Hey guys, it's Laura here. Um, I wanted to do the eight things I will never do tag. Um, I just thought it looked interesting. Um, and yeah, so I figured what the heck, I might as well. <laughs> so I guess I'll go ahead and get into it. Um, please excuse my appearance. I'm going to be going to the gym here when I'm, as soon as I'm done with this video, so I'm all ready to go. So yeah. All right, let's get started. Okay, number one, I will never chop off my hair. <clears throat> Excuse me. When I was about 12 years old, I believe, no, I was older than that, probably 14. It was right before my freshman year of high school. Um, my good friend of mine, the one who passed away last year actually, she had gotten a really cute haircut. And I really liked it, and I thought it would look good on me, but I thought wrong. <laughs> um, yeah, I got the same haircut. It was one like where it came down at an angle, and the back was all really short, but it was spiky. Like, you would spike it out with hair gel. And yeah, no, it was not for me. I don't have the face shape for that. Mind you, I've always been heavy, so I just, I don't have the face shape for it. So, yeah. About a week after I had it done, I missed my long hair, especially at the time I cut off about 12 or 13 inches of hair. And my hair is like super, super thick and curly. And yeah, 12 to 13 inches was gone and I missed it dearly and it took forever to grow back. Um, but I finally did, obviously. <laughs> okay. Number two, I will never do drugs. Uh, no, I'm not that kind of person. I don't like them. I don't like knowing what they could potentially do to you. Um, obviously, they could kill you. I mean, you could take a drug and it could kill you the first time you take it. So just knowing, like, that's a possibility. Like, why would somebody do that to themselves, you know? So, yeah, definitely no drugs for me. Okay, number three, I will never have unnecessary plastic surgery um, if it's not um, something that's going to affect my life. Like if I have something, like say I have loose skin, which obviously I'm going to have loose skin when I lose all this weight. I mean, I'm losing two petite women, basically. I'm, I'm losing, I want to lose over 200 pounds. Um, yeah, so I'm losing, like, two people, basically, and I'm going to have skin. Um, I'm going to obviously lift weights and try to tone it as much as possible, but I'm, there's going to be skin. Um, I'm not going to have that removed unless, for some reason, there's a need for it. Like, something that would affect my life. Like, it had to go, you know? So, and obviously nothing in my face. No injections, no facelift, no, this is how God made me, this is how I'm going to be. So unless it's life-threatening or whatever, no thank you. Okay, number four. I will never bungee jump slash skydive. <clears throat> yeah, it's not for me. Um, for one, I have an overwhelming fear of heights. <laughs> Um, and for a while I wanted to, don't get me wrong, probably for the past couple years I've thought about it, but like in recent months I just, it's, for some reason it's been in the back of my mind and I just, I will never, like even when I get down to my goal, um, cause obviously I couldn't do it the size I am now, but when I get down to my goal it's just, I'm never gonna do it, like I just, it's too dangerous in my book. Um... Okay, number five, I will never be a size two. Um, yeah, like I said, um, I'm losing uh, two people, basically. So I will never, ever be a size two because I will have skin. I mean, I'm okay with that. Um, but I would like to at least get down to a ten, even possibly an eight. I mean, if I'm lucky, like, if I work my ass off, like, literally, <laughs> um, I would like to be an 8, but I will never 
be a size 2. I can guarantee you that. So, yeah. No size 2. Okay, number 6. I will never intentionally hurt my dog slash future children. Um, this is a very strong issue for me. I just... People that abuse um, innocent children or innocent animals, um, I don't feel they deserve a spot on this earth. Like, I don't understand. I mean, yes, people can change, and people do change, but how you could intentionally harm something so innocent and just, it blows my mind how people can do something so horrible, you know? Oh, I just, it, it makes me sick, really. It just makes me sick. So, yeah, never. Okay, number seven. I will never stray from my marriage. Um, yeah, self-explanatory. I will never, ever stray from my marriage. I love my husband to death. I mean, when I said, you know, till death do us part, I meant it. <laughs> Um, I've been hurt very much in the past, um, by ex-boyfriends and such, so yeah, I could never, just, just thinking about it, just knowing, like, you're intentionally hurting somebody that you love, I just, I, I don't know how people do it, I don't know, I would, like, uh, heaven forbid, you know, like, say I did, like, just knowing that is, in your mind, you know, like, I did something with somebody else, you know, just knowing that's there, how could you put somebody that you love through that, you know, I just, I could never, ever do something like that, I love my husband dearly, okay, and number eight, I will never stop believing in God, um, I was raised in the church, um, for a while, probably, uh, early teens, um, young adult, probably like 14 to 19, 20-ish, um, I had my doubts, um, I will admit it, I wasn't perfect, I mean, nobody's perfect, but I had my rebellious stage, I did some not so good things, um, yeah, I was not perfect by any means, and... I knew he would never stop loving me, so I knew um, that I could never stop believing in him because he helped me through some difficult, difficult times. And yeah, he is very, very important to me. Um, and once again, I'm not perfect. Um, I don't claim to be. I do swear from time to time. I do, you know, like nobody's perfect, you know, <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I, but I will never, ever stop believing in him, so yeah, I guess that is it for this video, um, I hope you guys enjoyed, I tag anybody who would like to do this, um, and yeah, I hope you guys have a great evening, and I'm gonna go work out, so I will see you later, bye.